Hi everyone, Gerdy here. And I want to talk to you guys about choices. Making choices and accepting. I guess accepting the consequences, the consequences of those choices. And before I do, I'd like to show you the company I'm keeping at the moment. Let me see, the light is not too good. But these are the ladies you're hearing at the moment. Oh, hi honey. Just continue eating that, that's it. And there's some horses around here as well. Don't know where they've gone. Oops. Aren't they beautiful? Really nice. So, and the yucca in the summertime, you find them all over the mountain around here because they, once the snow has truly disappeared from up on the mountain and there's enough grass, farmers bring cows up the mountain. As long as they don't have to be milked, they spend the summer up on the mountain. Anyways, choices and accepting, acceptance. For the last couple of days, I've been talking about breaking some rules in relation to when you find yourself confined by the rules that you think you have to follow. Maybe that you are being told you have to follow, whether explicit or implicit. Let me just check where these cows are going. Um, As I said, rules that you think or are being told you have to follow. And if when you feel confined by those rules, that can be, a, well, for lack of a better word, a really rotten feeling. It's, it can be so, it, a terrible feeling really, a, a feeling that makes you physically uncomfortable. It makes you, it can even make you ill, especially when you don't quite know why it is that you feel that way. Why, what is making you feel so confined? And oftentimes when we find ourselves in situations like these, we think, or we may even have been told, or we have to, or we may have told others in similar situation well you have no choice and that's something i don't believe i actually believe that we always have a choice let me explain you can choose to remain in the situation that you find yourself in in that feeling of being confined in the position that you are in where you are being confined maybe at work in relationships wherever and in whatever situation you can choose to do that and that brings me to the second part of my um, of the subject for tonight for today that's accepting acceptance when you choose to stay in whatever position you have, you find yourself in and that has you feeling confined by the rules that you follow, then accept your situation. I've had people tell me all the reasons why they had no choice. And they kept complaining. I believe you do have a choice. I believe you can choose to do things differently, even if they're only small ones. I'll get to that in a minute. But when you choose to not do anything, not even change your mindset about the situation you find yourself in, then please stop complaining about it. So either do something 
choose to break a rule, choose to do something different. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's, uh, you have every right to do that. And when you do that, accept that you are in a situation that you do not want to change at some deeper level and stop complaining about it. That sounds harsh and I uh, am taking the liberty to say it because I was one of those complainers myself. For years I felt confined and constricted and as if I was in a straitjacket and it literally got me ill. I ended up in a serious burnout. And leading up to that, I complained a lot. I complained about the fact that I was doing something that I didn't like. I complained about the fact that I was expected to work so much. I complained and about lots of, of things without realizing that I was choosing not to change anything about my situation and therefore nothing changed. I didn't change so my circumstances didn't change either. And that, don't get me wrong, that's your, your, your perfect right to do that. Not the complaining part, but not to change anything. That's fine if you are not ready if you don't want to because it's uncomfortable or for whatever reason perfectly fine just don't complain the other thing you can do is change something and it can be something as little but far-reaching and challenging as to change your mindset so if you are in a situation that you cannot get yourself out of immediately. Hi, Rosemary. Then change your mindset about it. I'm always remi reminded of um, Nelson Mandela and what he told, uh, what he wrote about in his book, and I think he spoke about it too. He was confined to Robben Island for I think something like 26 years so his body couldn't go anywhere he was forced to do manual labor senseless labor even but as he said they couldn't lock up lock up lock up confine whatever his mind <clears throat> so in his mind he was free and that has everything to, with, to do with mindset he's he chose to look at a situation like that to, he chose to keep his mind free and not have his mind be imprisoned as well and i've read interviews with other prisoners in in other situations who have done the same um, mostly prisoners of war and people in the camps in the Second World War. Now, that's something you can do and that can be a small thing that liberates you in a small way and sometimes even in a big way. But there's other things as well. You can look at the rules that you're abiding by, that you're living by and Check with yourself, do these rules make sense? Are you following rules that are not your own and that are basically silly rules or st even stupid rules? Rules that are nowhere near to common sense. I'm not promoting here that you become a rebel and just throw the entire rule book out. Because there are some rules that are pretty good, that help us get along as a society, that uh, maintain law and order. So I'm not saying that you have to throw everything out. 
But consider throwing out the silly, stupid, nonsensical rules. Who knows what may happen? And as with choosing not to do anything, you have to accept what comes next. When you choose to do something differently, you may be surprised by the results. Things will go differently from what, the way they did uh, yesterday and you, sim you will have to accept whatever comes. And the beauty of it is, if you don't like what, uh, if you don't like the result, you can make a different choice. How about that? Look at all the freedom you have. There's a lot more to choose, a lot more choices you can make than you think. So, why not break some of your rules? The silly, stupid, nonsensical ones? The ones that are perhaps self-imposed? The ones that are implicit and sometimes even explicit find something that you can do differently and break out of that feeling of being hemmed in, confined, constricted, straight jacket like hemmed in. I was going to make a nice verb out of straight jacket, but I couldn't. So there you are. And see if um, that choice you make leads to a different result and maybe even have you break out of that confinement. And remember to accept whatever comes and also remember that when something comes up that is not what you expected and you really really don't like what is coming up, make a different choice and see what happens then. There you are. As always, guys, go there greatly. Bye.